All right, let's move on to the original free kick and all things professional soccer. Atlanta United had a very solid win over Columbus on the road on August 7th, a 3-2 road victory. Ezekiel Barco scored a pair of goals for his brace, while Marcelino Moreno had a goal in his third consecutive match to give Atlanta the victory. It snapped a 12-match losing streak, or winless streak. They had some ties in there. It's not a losing streak. It was a winless streak for Atlanta, but also the first win under interim manager Rob Valentino. And here is Valentino on the victory. Yeah, I would say it's it's the start. It's the start of seeing some things and 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 their hard work come together. I mean, I'm so proud of them. Uh, it's been really difficult, and and this is just a start. It wasn't always pretty, but sometimes you got to find a way to win like that. But their their mentality, their drive, their determination to not lose that game was, was huge. Yeah, and here is George Bello on the team earning a crucial road victory that not only snapped that losing streak or winless streak, but also kept them in playoff contention. Um, the atmosphere in the locker room after was really good, uh, really buzzing. And most of all, I'm really happy for Coach Rob because, I mean, I've been with him since he was assistant of the two. So, I mean, just seeing him get that win, I'm really happy for him. And as I mentioned, that victory snapped Atlanta's 12-match winless streak. Their last win was a 1-0 home victory over Montreal on May 15th. So that was a few months ago, was their last victory. Here is Valentino on the team ending that winless streak. It's been so difficult, and, and everyone knows that. But I'm proud of the group. I'm proud of everyone at the club, the fans. This moment, uh, I told the group before, like, these moments of, of you started in preseason and you're putting in the sprints and the trainings, the extra sessions in the gym, all the stuff that you guys might not see, that this is a moment where you didn't, you didn't quit and you kept going. And it's it's just the start, but there's so much more to it that culminated in this moment. And, and I'm happy that I'm in this position to be here to share it with them. And, and it's, this is for everyone in Atlanta. This is for the fans. And, uh, I hope it's just the start of us rolling. I, I really do. I believe that the group is, is right there. And yeah, you can hear just him being proud of the team. And they've had some good performances that they've just come up short. And I thought that their road loss a few weeks ago at Orlando City, I thought they played really well in that contest against Montreal on the road. I thought they played well there as well, but just were unable to earn a win. Uh, but this time they were able to get the victory, and that was a, a good moment. So here is George Bello on the team ending the winless streak? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's going to take just focus. Like I said, we shouldn't let this one win get to our heads. And we're just going to keep our uh, heads down and just keep moving as a team, uh, keep getting better as a group. And I feel like we're on the right path. We're making great progress. And having everyone back and everyone coming back from injury as well, just together as a group, as one. And so, I mean, we're ready. And like I said, we're all happy about the win, but we're just going to keep our heads down and keep working towards the, the main goal, making playoffs. Yeah, and Barco was really the man of the match from the very beginning. He scored his first goal in the match in the fifth minute. He received the ball at midfield and dribbled past several Columbus defenders and got into the penalty area. He did a nice pass to George Bello, who did a backfield return pass to a streaking Barco when he pushed his left-footed shot past Columbus goalkeeper uh, Eli Room to make the score 1-0. Really a highlight goal that you saw posted on all of social media. But it's nice interplay between Bello and Barco. Uh, here is Bello on giving that assist to Barco. Yeah, I mean, I saw him pick up the ball and what he does well, just driving with it. And then I was trying to make the run towards goal. I thought he was going to slip me, but then it wasn't on, so I peeled back off. And I feel like me and him have, really, have always had, like, pretty good chemistry. So, I mean, he played me and I saw him make that run back to the end thankfully went in but yeah like I said I feel like we always had that some sort of chemistry with like between us so I'm just happy it went in happy to get the win and that's really a type of play that takes a lot of chemistry a lot of working together and you've seen them work really good together on that left side Bello being the the winger well you know I guess full back but playing a, a very aggressive on the offensive end Bello I, I, I mean Barco obviously being the, the midfielder that pushes forward and creates offensive chances. But there's been a lot of good field dialogue between those two players. Here is Bello on playing alongside Barco. Sí, la verdad que bueno, con Jorge me llevo muy bien. 
eh, tanto dentro de la cancha como fuera de la cancha. Eh, pero sí, hicimos una, una buena conexión ahí y sí, sí lo esperaba el, al, ese pase porque él es, es un gran jugador que, que siempre puede llegar a meter esos pases y, y yo seguí de el pase y continué con la carrera y, y por suerte pudimos terminar en gol y fue una bonita jugada. George and I have a, we get along well both on and off the field um, and, and it's true, I, we do have a good connection. So uh, on that play, yeah, I was, I was expecting the pass because he's the player who has that, um, you know, that quality. So I was able to continue my run and he was able to find me. Yeah, and Atlanta doubled his lead in the 35th minute. Uh, Moreno was able to receive a pass in the left side of the penalty area and drove towards the, the box and passed two Columbus defenders, but he was taken down, and that led to a penalty shot. Barco converted the shot and made the score 2-0 in favor of Atlanta. So Barco had his 12th and 13th goal of his MLS career and his second brace, which is scoring two goals in a contest, in his Atlanta United career. He has really been, I don't say unleashed necessarily, but he's really been more aggressive and probably playing under his best form consistently under Valentino. And here is Rob, manager of Atlanta United, on Barco and his efforts. Um, I, I, thought, I thought tactically he did a really good job. Like We asked a lot of them from the defensive side, not about dropping back and, and defending, but doing a specific role. And he, and he created, he did that. And that I think created him some more chances. Um, so that freedom up to get the ball and to drive like he did in the last game against Montreal, he was able to break through from a midfield position and get it and go. Um, even on the goal, I'm screaming past it and he still dribbled and then he created the goal. So I, maybe I should do less of that and let him kind of be himself. But I, I did challenge him yesterday and said, like you had one good game where I thought you, you did well, you created two goals, but you're going to keep needing to do this. This is, this is your job. And, and he's got, I think he's got a gift that um, he's got a, he's got a gift that I told you guys before. I can't teach that. I can't coach that. And, and that gift he needs to then go and produce uh, with his creativity, with his ability to take players on the dribble. So tonight he, he put in a serious shift. Yeah. And we asked Barco about, his offensive output and contributions to the team under Valentino. Obviously, he's played under several managers. He's played under six managers. I think he did the math. Well, five managers. Got let's see from we go to to Tata to De Boer to Heinze, Coach Stephen Glass, and yeah, now Valentino and Heinze. Yeah, he's played under all those managers while he's been with Atlanta United. And as I said, this is probably the best form that we've seen from him. Here is Barco on that offensive effort and playing under Valentino. No, la verdad que, que como dije antes, el entrenador y el cuerpo técnico nos dan la libertad a la hora de, de atacar, de movernos por todo el frente de ataque. Creo que lo hemos demostrado en el partido anterior y bueno, esta noche. Eh, y gracias a Dios pudimos conseguir los goles y, y la victoria que, que hace mucho tiempo que veníamos buscando y, y nada, estamos muy contentos por, por ese gran triunfo. As I said before, I think the coaching staff is giving us that freedom that we need across the front line to, to be able to attack. Um, so, you know, thanks to thanks to them, we're, we're able to do what we did, and, and we're really happy because it was a win that we've been trying to get for a long time. Yeah, and Columbus was able to work their way back into the contest in the 37th minute off of a corner kick. Uh, the corner kick was uh, Lucas uh, did a, swung the pass into the right side of the penalty area. And uh, Jonathan uh, Mensa was able to get a header past Brad Guzan, Atlanta's goalkeeper, to make the score two to one. And that's what that was the score heading into halftime. Atlanta looked to make the score three to one in the 52nd minute with a long range shot by Barco that looked like it was going in for his hat trick, but a very nice diving save by Room on the top right corner of the goal prevented that opportunity or that scoring chance. Now, Atlanta was able to make the score three to one in the 64th minute when Moreno won his second penalty shot in the contest. Similar deal to the first one. Drove the ball past several Columbus defenders, was taken down in the penalty area, and drew the penalty for Atlanta. This time, though, he was able to take the penalty shot himself, and he scored his team leading sixth goal of the season to make the score three to one. Now, the score was three to two a few minutes later when 
Actually, in the first minute of stoppage time, Columbus scored their second goal of the contest when Alan Franco, Atlanta defender, pulled down Mensa in the box for making a penalty kick. And Pedro Santos was able to convert that penalty to make the score three to two. And that's how it ended. Atlanta got their very important road win. One highlight from the contest is just overall looking at the match. Atlanta created 14 scoring chances, tied for the second most this season. And that's a very important statistic because Atlanta has scored seven goals in their last three contests in MLS play. Well, they've all been MLS contests. Before that, they only had seven goals in their previous nine contests. So seven goals in the last three, only seven goals in the last nine before this, these past three contests. And that included that 1-0 home shutout to New England on July 17th, which led to Gabriel Heinz's dismissal as manager. Here is Bello on the team playing under Valentino and really being more aggressive and having much better offensive output. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously we're playing different. It's not like the same kind of, I would say, like defensive style, I guess, where we were man-to-man -man before. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to judge any, like, previous coach. I have much respect for the previous coach I staff. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, as a team, I feel like we're all happy right now. And um, we're all together on the same page, and that's all that matters. And that's what's going to take us to the next level. So, I mean, like like I said, I don't disrespect anyone how they used to play or how they played their game style. But we're all on the same page right now, which is all that matters. And Atlanta returns to action on Sunday, which is August 15th, when they're going to host LAFC. They have a full week off for, from matches, and we'll be looking forward to practice and seeing what goes on there. And they're actually going to have, on our next show, we're going to have today's presser, which is on yeah August 10th, is going to be with new acquisition of Luis uh, Arujo. The, the new the, the new player coming into the team. So look forward to the next show when we'll have probably some audio from his press conference. We're looking forward to viewing that. I say attend it, but it's going to be on Zoom like everything else is these days. Uh, so we'll have some content from there on that next press conference. So look forward to hearing that over the next few shows.